Hey everyone, it's Julianne here with my first card as a design team member for Honeybee Stamps. Today I'm going to be creating a congrats card using the Puppy Love stamp set, the Friends Forever, the Be Bold Alphabet Honeycuts, the Farm Fence Honeycuts, as well as the Grass Borders, and the Cloud Stencil found in the Outdoor Scene Builder Stencil Set. So let's just jump right on in and get started. For my card today, I wanted to create a congrats card for my supervisor. She was awarded manager of the year, and what better way to celebrate than with a bunch of little puppies. I'm going to start out my card today by stamping the puppy images onto some Expressit cardstock. That way I can do my Copic coloring. I'm going to start off by stamping this French Bulldog here. I'm going to mask him off and then stamp an additional puppy right on top of that mask. So once that mask is removed, it's going to look as though the French Bulldog is in front of him. I'm going to continue with this same stamping, masking off a puppy, and then stamping another one for all my groups. I won't be able to use the coordinating dies for the little groups I'm creating here, but I will be able to use the coordinating dies for the puppies that I do stamp individually. When it comes to masking, you want to make sure that you decide which puppies in this instance that you want in the front. So this, I wanted the wiener dog in the front of this group, so I stamped him, masked him off, and now I'm going to stamp that additional puppy right on top of him, and it'll look as though he is in front of the other puppies that are in this group. And I'm just going to continue that same stamping and masking process, and I'll be right back. Now that I have all my stamping and masking complete, I'm going to start working on removing all those masks to reveal the little groups of puppies that I talked about earlier. This is one of my favorite things to do, creating little scenes with masks. It is a little bit time consuming creating all those masks, but I think it's definitely worth it. Once I get all those masks removed, I'm going to start working on my Copic coloring. I have sped up my Copic coloring today since it did take me a while to color in all of these adorable puppies but I will have my marker caps off to the side so you can see which colors I am using. For each puppy, I'll be starting out with my lightest shade, adding some shading with the middle, and then finally going in with my darkest shade, and then working back out to my lightest. This is the way that I prefer to color, but as I've mentioned before in some of my videos, there is no wrong way to color. Just do what you love and pick the color combinations that you like the best. That's what I tend to do, and that's when I think that I get the best results. But I'm just going to continue on coloring here, and I'll be right back.
Once I have all of my coloring done for those puppies, I'm going to move on to building my scene. Off camera, I did die cut the Farm Fence Honey Cut die set with some wood grain cardstock for added texture and then to just add some additional dimensions so my fence just isn't that stark white. I'm going to go in with some cool gray markers and do a flicking motion at the top and bottom of each panel till I get that desired look. Once I have that done, I'm just going to adhere those panels directly to the fence die cut using some liquid adhesive. Now that I'm done with the fence, I'm going to start working on my background. For my background today, I'm going to be using the cloud stencil that can be found in the Outdoor Seam Builder stencil set. And I'm just going to be doing some ink blending on some Ranger cardstock today using tumbled glass as well as Salty Ocean Distress Oxide inks. And I'm just going to continue to use that cloud stencil all the way down my card base. And then once I've got the desired look that I'm going for, I'm going to get a bigger blending brush and I'm just going to go around the edges as well as just all over my cardstock with that tumbled glass to give some additional dimension. Once I'm happy with my background, I'm going to die cut the word congrats from the Be Bold Alphabet Honey Cuts die set. And I did die cut that word out of some black cardstock as well as some glitter cardstock. And I'm just going to adhere those together using that liquid adhesive. And this is just going to give my sentiment just a little bit of added dimension once it's adhered onto my card. Once I have all of my letters adhered together, I'm going to start playing around with where I want everything to be on my card. And once I've decided on the placement, I'm going to start adhering everything down directly to my cloud background. First, I'm going to start with my grass border. I die cut some green cardstock using the Grass Borders Honey Cut die set. And I'm just going to adhere that directly to my background using some liquid adhesive. And next, I'm going to start working on adhering my fences. Once I've decided the placement where they should be so that some of that grass border still shows through, I'm again just going to adhere those directly down with that same liquid adhesive, leaving enough room up top for my congrats word. Once I get that final fence die cut adhered to my card, I'm just going to cut off any excess I have hanging over using my scissors. And then I'm going to start adding in some fun white highlights onto my little puppies on their cheeks and on their little paws. And this is just going to add some cute detail to them using my white gel pen. Now that I've finished adding in those white highlights to my puppies, I'm going to start working on putting the rest of my card together. For this grass border, again, I used the same grass borders honey cuts, but I just cut a different shade of green cardstock. I'm going to be adhering this down to my background using some foam adhesive. And then I'm going to start adhering my puppy groups and my images onto my card base using either some more liquid adhesive or some additional foam adhesive for some added dimension to my card. Now that I've finished adhering all the puppies I wanted in my background, as well as some of the toy images included in the stamp set, 
I'm going to start working on adhering those front two groups of puppies you see here. For these, I'm going to be adhering them down with some foam adhesive to give that little bit of added dimension that I talked about earlier to my card. Now that I have all of my puppy images along with their toys adhered to my background, I'm going to start working on the placement of my congrats word. I'm going to want that at the top of my card, so I'm just going to want to make sure that each letter fits before I start adhering them down. I'm going to be adhering each letter directly to my cloud background using that same liquid adhesive I've been using throughout the card, continuously checking that I'm not going to run out of room. Once I have all my letters adhered, I'm going to use that same liquid adhesive to adhere my background to my card base. This definitely isn't a normal size card, but I wasn't too worried about that since I did know my supervisor was going to end up displaying this in her office. I did stamp out It's Potsy Time from the Friends Forever stamp set and cut it out using the coordinating dies. And I'm just going to adhere that into the inside of my card as well as some additional images that I had colored. Once I'm done with the inside of my card, my card is going to be complete. I want to thank you all for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more card making ideas. If you are interested in the supplies that I used, they will be listed and linked down below in the description. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting!